How's it going, everybody? Nathaniel from RC Insight here, and today I am back with another LEGO news video for you guys. Yesterday, I covered a bunch of the new LEGO City sets. Today, we have all of the set images for the new LEGO City sets for uh, the winter 2022 wave. So I'm going to go over all of these for you guys, break them down. Very, very excited to talk about these. And I'm going to start by just going over all the sets, the price points, and the piece counts. And then I'm going to go into giving my individual thoughts on all of them. So the first set we have here is the rocket launch center this will be two hundred dollars in canada and it comes with 1010 pieces so very overpriced for this one then we have the lunar research base and these are coming march 1st by the way uh the lunar research base is uh, 786 pieces and it will be 150 dollars in canada that is it for the space stuff coming out in the new year then on january 1st we have our regular wave so i was right about the space stuff being march 1st so january 1st we have the 129.99 dollar fire brigade set this will have 766 pieces we have the police chase at the bank which is also 129.99 and 915 pieces this is a very good price point a very nice set we'll come back to this one uh, then we have the Fire Station. This set is $90 in Canada and 540 pieces. We also have the Police Station, which is the same price and 668 pieces. A uh, pretty good price for the Police Station, actually. I'm pleasantly surprised. Then we have the School Day, which is, again, a $90 set. And this has 433 pieces. We have the Police Mobile Command Truck, which is $64.99 in Canada and 436 pieces. And then we have even more sets on the next page. We have the Fire Rescue and Police Chase. I am a fan of this set. It's $50 and 295 pieces. Unfortunately, the price point, I'm not a big fan of. Um... We have the ice cream truck police chase, also for $50, and this is 317 pieces. We have the mobile crane for $50, and this is 340 pieces. Very nice use of the road plate. Uh, we have the horse transporter, which is $40 and 196 pieces. We have the Rescue Helicopter Transport for $40. That is 215 pieces. We have the Cement Mitcher Truck, which is a 4 plus set for $24.99, and it is 85 pieces. We have the Picnic in the Park, which is $24.99, and 147 pieces. We have the Fire Helicopter, which is $13.99 and 53 pieces. This is also a 4 plus set. We have the Police Car, which again, $13.99, and this is 94 pieces. Then, getting towards the end here, we have the Race Car, which is another $13, $14 set, I should say, for 46 pieces. The Stunt Plane which looks like a 4-plus build, but is not a 4-plus build for, again, $14.59 pieces. And finally, the hospital is 816 pieces and retails for $150 in Canada. So this is a lot of sets to go over, guys. There is a lot. If you want to check out the video that I released yesterday, it'll be in the description. Uh, I talked about some of these sets. I'm only going to talk about those ones that I talked about already at the very end of this video and focus on the ones I have not yet talked about, starting with the Rocket Launch Center. So the Rocket Launch Center, already mentioned the price point and the piece count here. Um, I, I don't think that you're getting good value. $200 for 1,000 pieces is way too much. Uh, this is a nice set. I, I do quite like it. Uh, I'm not a super big fan of this space shuttle build. I think the one from a few years ago is nicer. It's the one that I have. Uh, but the the launch uh, scaffolding here, I think, looks really great. And uh, in terms of 
actual like the the rocket rocket launch center build uh, again i think the one from a few years ago is better than what we have here but i do prefer this cargo bay uh, which i think looks quite nice over here uh, which also has a telescope in it uh, so overall i think this is a nice set uh, but the price point is just way, way too much money. So even though I do really like some of the elements, uh, in particular, like I said, the scaffolding on this set, as well as the the telescope and loading bay here, it's too overpriced for uh, me to really justify buying this. Then we have the Fire Brigade. And uh, this set, I think, again, is a little pricey. 130 for 766 pieces is steep. And again, I think this just really pales in comparison to the set from a few years ago. That was the Downtown Fire Brigade set. Uh, I don't like these new flame pieces. I think the building here is just a lot more underwhelming. Um, it's, it's just nowhere near as nice of a build as the one from a few years ago, which is a set that I absolutely love. Uh, the Fire Brigade truck itself, I think, is okay. Uh, we have the water launcher play feature. It comes with a little trailer. I, I don't like the mix of yellow and red for some reason. There's something that I just find off-putting about it. But even the, the truck build itself, I don't think is all that interesting, unfortunately. Uh, we do have this little fire car that comes alongside as well. I don't know if there's a, just a, an image of it by itself. It doesn't look like there is. So uh, the car, I think, looks nice. It's a chief's car. And of course, we have um, seven minifigures here, which is a decent selection. But the main build this just doesn't do it for me. I do like the shipping container. I think that's, that's nice. Um, but otherwise, there's not a whole lot here that I find worth certainly the price that you'd be paying for this. Um, there's some nice elements. I also like the fire hydrant you got to plug in. Uh, but i still still not a fan of the road plates. And overall, I, I think this set is a miss. Then we have the police chase at the bank. And this is the great set in this wave, I think. A great price point and and just an awesome build you got so much going on here i think it's spectacular so again not a huge fan of the road plates i, I don't think that they're necessary really uh but looking at all the individual builds in here well i guess we'll start by taking a look at this helicopter which which feels a little tacked on it doesn't feel like it needs to be here we've had so many helicopters before but everything else here is great i love the little drone uh, I love this police armored vehicle is a really nice looking build and the standout vehicle is this robber's truck. I think it looks absolutely amazing and the bank build itself is a very nice bank build as well. It reminds me more of the bank and money transfer from several years, well, well a long time ago now than it does the bank we got from a few years ago which was definitely um, a little underwhelming in comparison to this. So really like this set, definitely gonna be going out and buying it right away. Then we have the fire station and the fire station, I think it's a nice build. It's a little expensive, uh, but it looks like it's more than 560 pieces in my opinion. I do quite like this fire truck that comes with it. And I really like the bay door design. Uh, I got the fire station from just a few years ago, so obviously I'm not going to feel compelled to get this. Um, there is a little tree build that I guess is nice. Again, I just can't get past the, the road plate integration. It just feels so unnecessary. Uh, the helicopter here is also an okay build. Overall, it is a small fire station like the last one, and it bears a lot of similarities to the last one, which is why obviously I'm not planning on getting it, but but the fire truck here, as well as the bay doors, I think is, uh, they're both pretty good. F five mini figures. For the school day, um, this one is unfortunately probably something I'm going to have to pass on. Again, can't get past the road plates. 433 pieces for $90 is way, way too much money. And uh, though the school bus build is okay, it's okay. The school building itself, 
I really do not like the, the roof, the design. It doesn't look very much like a school that I'm used to seeing, and it looks way too small and hollowed out to actually be a school. There is some nice accessories around with the bus stop and the park and the crosswalk, but uh, I don't know. I It's just not for me. Six minifigures, I guess you get a nice minifigure selection, but it's not my taste. Um, I might cave, but but it's really overpriced. Then we have the fire rescue and police chase. So again, $50 for 295 pieces is a lot of money, but I do like the builds here. I really, really like the uh, the fire truck here. I think it's a great pickup build. I like getting a drone. No road plates is a plus. This little burning garage build is nice. And I really like the robber's getaway car. Obviously, the police chase is more of an afterthought here, I guess. Three minifigures. It feels like this should be a four minifigure set. Um, but but overall, I, I do quite like the mix of police and fire here. I think this is a really nice set. Then the ice cream truck and police chase. This is another one of the standout sets, in my opinion. It's pricey again for 50 bucks for 317 pieces. But man, that ice cream truck build is so cool. I don't care really about the police truck that much, but the ice cream truck looks awesome. It has the same feature as the egg launcher from the, the uh, mobile command center set. And even though I have the ice cream truck from a few years ago, I love the colors and the design here. And I love how it looks like it's meant to be like a getaway truck as well as an ice cream truck. So overall, I think this is a really cool set and some really nice colors for our robbers too with the, the pink and blue. Um, probably gonna pick this one up. I, I really like it. So for the mobile crane here, again, this is I guess the best value of the $50 sets, but it's still on the pricey side. Um, I think the use of the road plate here is really smart. Again, I don't like road plates, but it's well done. Uh, I actually like the color scheme here. Uh, and overall, I think this is a nice build. For me, I have several mobile cranes like this from other sets. All of those, of course, are much bigger sets. So for those of you who want to pick up a mobile crane for a good price without having to buy you know, a $150 set to come with it, uh, I think this is a great option, but it's just a set that I don't need. The horse transporter, uh, again, the value here is not great, and it looks so similar to the horse transporter from many years ago. Uh, the only thing I really like that stands out to me here is having the jumps. Uh, I think having the, the horse jumps is a nice touch, I guess. The trailer build is near identical to the one from many years ago, and the SUV pulling it is a little bit different, but honestly, I like it less than the one from a few years ago, I think it was, where it was black and red. The the, the blues here don't do it for me. So that's another set I'll probably pass on. The rescue helicopter transport, this one is okay value. It's still hovering around 20 cents a piece, unfortunately, but uh, it looks like an okay value. Interestingly, we have an ambulance helicopter in this set, and um, overall, I mean, nice to get another ambulance helicopter. I feel like this is just a set that has been used to death, the helicopter transport you see every couple of years. Uh, I do like the red and black cab as well, but it's passed for me, especially because I got the stunt show transporter set last year. I don't need another transport truck and helicopter. We have the four plus cement mixer. Can't even do price to piece ratio on these because they're four plus. It has a huge body piece. Um, I don't think it looks like it's worth twenty four dollars, but it's an okay set. I mean, it's it's a four plus set. It's not something I'll be getting. I really would like them to do a regular cement mixer again. It's been a long time, and my cement mixer currently is from two thousand and seven. So yeah, I think it's time for a new cement mixer. I would definitely like that, but this is not the one that I'll be getting. Just, I don't like the 4 Plus builds. They're way too simple for me, but I'm sure that this there's a lot of people who will like this and think getting a 4 Plus cement mixer is nice. The Picnic in the Park. Now, this I actually really like. I really like the Picnic in the Park here. 147 pieces, $25, so you have a good price point. And it's not common to get a set like this for LEGO, certainly not by its own. Usually come with a lot bigger sets. We got three minifigures and a $20 $25 set. That's really nice. Uh, I love this little Ranger car build. 
And the tree and the picnic table also look really nice. So this is a set I will be picking up. I'm a big fan of it. I think it's it's really good. Police car here. Uh, it's a $14 set, $10 in the U.S. Uh, I like it. I think this is a great $10 set. Uh, it, it looks really good, and I'll, I'll be picking it up. I don't have much more to say on that. Um, minifigure's okay. The race car, uh, on the other hand, this is not quite as great a value for, for $10, bucks of only 46 pieces. It is a 4-plus set. Uh, it doesn't look like a 4-plus build, surprisingly. Uh, you do get two minifigures, which is nice. Uh, I, I don't really see this as a 4-plus build. I'm sure some people will be interested, but I don't, I don't need it. I collect the Speed Champions. Uh, the stunt plane, this is the one that does look like a 4 plus build to me, but is not. Uh, again, uh, not a great price to piece ratio. I already have lots of stunt planes and stuff, so I'm not interested. And then finally, we have the sets that I went over yesterday. And um, I think this video is long enough, so I'm just going to leave the link to those in the description down below because I did talk about them and we got a pretty in-depth look at those sets as well. So I don't feel like I need to blabber on about them any more than I already have in this very long video. So that is my video going over all of the 2022 winter Lego City sets. Get ready for January 1st because this is a pretty good Lego City wave in my opinion. There's some standout sets, there's some underwhelming sets, overpriced as always, but there's some really good sets in here uh, and, and I'm looking forward to it. So if you guys like this video, click the like button down below. As always, leave your opinions in the comment section. I love to know what you guys have to think. and I love all the comments I was getting on yesterday's video. So keep that up. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I've passed 2,000, so thank you so much for that, guys. I'll have a video coming out on that later. Uh, but subscribe anyway. I guess 3,000 is the next goal now. So uh, a subscription would be much appreciated, and you'll you know be notified when this type of content comes out. I'll have news videos, reviews, speed builds, and a whole bunch of other stuff on my channel as well. It's definitely worth looking into. Anyways, with all that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.